All right, Buenos Dias, mis amigos. All right, today we're going to pick on Beacon Baptist Church of Welland. And I guess that's Welland, Ontario. And let's just listen to a little bit of what he has to say in regards to Revelation 20. Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is the sand of the sea. And they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints. So, so I get in my picture the breadth of the earth, that they're somehow up in the, uh, the, the immediate heavens, so they're, they're flying in airplanes, helicopters, some type of spaceship, okay, all these types of things. And, uh, you, you know, we, we giggle, oh, spaceships. <laughs> but look at where technology is going, okay? Soon the normal man and woman will be able to go to space. It's going to be very costly, I think, for quite a long time. But these things are going to happen. And so when we read this, that they're in the breadth of the earth, that they're kind of hovering above, we shouldn't find that abnormal. I mean, we can do that in modern type uh, equipment now. I read about a drone that's big enough for people to get in now and kind of hover around. So that will be wonderful. And all right, let's keep reading here. And uh, it says... Mm, no, no, no. Do we really need to read any more? This is pure insanity. You know, you look at this verse here in Isaiah 5. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put darkness for light, and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. Now this is exactly what this guy is doing. All right, so he's got this scenario here where he says Satan and his people, which are the unsaved, are going to be up in the air and we're going to be down on the earth. That is the exact opposite of what's going to happen. All right, so let me show you. <laughs> I mean... This, I don't know, maybe it's just me. This stuff really burns my butt. It's as if these guys have absolutely no idea what the Bible says. It's incredible. So we're going to start here in Genesis 3, verse 15. The Lord says to the serpent, I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head. And thou shalt bruise his heel. Now, this is, again, the Lord is speaking to Satan, or the serpent. Same thing. All right. In this context, same thing. The serpent is on the ground, and the Lord stomps his foot on the head of the serpent. It's not the other way around. Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Let's do this here. Let's do it. Oops. Uh, not that. Doggone it. All right, so here. There's actually more verses I could pull up, but here's two. Should be, One should be enough, right? In Isaiah 66, verse 1. Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. It's not the other way around. All right, where is the house that you build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? Well, here in Acts 7, verse 29, heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. All right, shouldn't be any doubt about it whatsoever. All right, and so I'm going to probably build on this particular spreadsheet here. 
maybe this will help somebody maybe it'll help me but we read here in Psalm 110 until I make thine enemies thy footstool Matthew 22 till I make thine enemies thy footstool Mark 12 till I make thine enemies thy footstool Luke 20 till I make thine enemies thy footstool Acts 2 until I make thy foes thy footstool Hebrews 1 until I make thine enemies thy footstool Hebrews 10 till his enemies be made his footstool and then alright so <clears throat> there shouldn't be any doubt about it and then I guess if we drew a line right here uh, this will be sort of separating the you know down here is all the verses that I'm gonna put together that talk about us being gathered together that's I just started this this morning so don't freak out because it's there's not there's there's a lot more I could add to it okay Matthew 24 they shall gather together his elect talking about the angels shall gather together us and we shall be lifted up in the air Mark 13 shall gather together his elect first Thessalonians 4 caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air first Corinthians 15 the resurrection of the dead they that are Christ that is coming so when he comes in the clouds of heaven we are resurrected and lifted up in the air Revelation 3 verse 9 I will make them to come and worship before thy feet not the other way around they're not going to be up in the air and us on the earth it's we're, we the saved are going to be up in the air and the unsaved are going to be at our feet and of course uh, Revelation 20 verse 9 they compass the camp of the saints about the beloved city and fire comes down from God out of heaven and devours them we're up in the air our enemy is gathered at our feet all right so let's go to uh, let's let's go to um, this verse here in Galatians chapter 4 Jerusalem which is above is free which is the mother of us all our city our holy city is above it's not here on the earth all right and so this is incredible maybe if you're unsaved and you're looking up and your enemy is up in the air I mean that's not good that's not good at all and so I mean this is terrible this is terrible camp of the Saints so, so I get in my picture the breath of the earth that they're somehow up in Breath of the earth does not mean up in the air. How do we do this? The distance or measurement from side to side of something. Breadth. It not, has nothing to do at all with being up in the air. The distance or measurement from side to side. The width. And they went up on the breadth of the earth encompass the camp of the saints about in the beloved city now I, I you know I just can't help but think that you know we're being told the same thing all throughout the Bible but it is written in a way that if you lack faith you're not gonna understand it and I think this is a great example of that and I mean if you don't believe the Bible that you hold in your hands you are now reliant on other people to tell you what God says right and so you're not trusting the Word of God which is God right? think about John chapter 1 real quickly I'm gonna to try to make this short so I'm about done here I think 
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All right. In Isaiah 66, remember I just read verse one, and I will, I and I'm sorry, I also will choose their delusions. So if you're not trusting the Word of God, you're gonna fall for these delusions. You're going to be tempted to believe them. All right, and so that this exactly what's happening up in the uh, the the immediate heavens. So they're they're flying in airplanes, helicopters, some type of spaceship. Okay, all these types of things. And uh, you you know we we giggle. Oh, spaceships. <laughs> But look at where technology is going, okay? Soon, the normal man and woman will be able to go to space. It's going to be very costly, I think, for quite a long time. This just burns my rear end. I mean, just really burns it. It's We're just going to ignore everything in the Bible. <laughs> wow. John 3, verse 13, Jesus says, No man has ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven heaven nobody's gonna ascend to heaven nobody's done it not even David not even David has ascended to heaven all right only when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven will we be lifted up to meet the Lord in the air okay this idea that men are going to the moon it's not true you know I get it the whole world is saying that men went to the moon but it's not true none of it's true they've never went they can't go they'll never they're never gonna go you're never gonna go all right and I'll finish on this I guess all right just just think about these things all right God forbid yeah let God be true but every man a liar as it is written that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged all right again revelation 20 verse 9 this is when we are up in the air to meet the lord and so shall we ever be with the lord this is when we are in the air till i make thine enemies thy footstool and fire comes down from god out of heaven and devours them it shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel from genesis from Genesis to Revelation, the same thing is being taught over and over.